in this country if i step out wearing a wig wearing beard costumes and people don't look at me or judge me that would be the best day of the life <laughs> yes now that is possible in some parts of delhi in other cities where people won't even bat an eyelid but right there lies a struggle cosplayers face to assert that this is an art form and not fancy dressing in fact akanksha sachan who you just saw had a tough time convincing her parents of that she and orin shahri take you into a world where their hobby has become their full time occupation the cloud nine of happiness it happens when the execution execution of the costume uh fine i was working for uh for five months the entire year i was spending my every day one hour every day on that costume and now it's brought to life I I talk to people normally you find me hiding in a corner but in cosplay I'm out there I'm the butterfly I'm running everywhere I want people to talk to me you're not talking to me why aren't you talking to me I'll come and talk to you So when I'm in cosplay I have the liberty of not being on shady I have the liberty of not being the good girl you know no conceal don't let it go sort of thing I can do cuz I have a mask on even though it's not a, a literal mask my face is visible I have this entire new costume of skin new skin on me and everything i do i can be like that was a me it was cosplay i watch a lot of anime i am a big gaming and video games a big comic freak and mostly the japanese anime so that plays a lot of uh, role in being a character how do i display my art form in a country where people don't know what it is so social media is a very good platform uh, for me to show my kind of art so being an online personality it kind of helps to bring out the characters into life because more people will come and they'll see and what my art form is what it represents rather than going to places offline in events more people are ca uh, catching attention toward my art uh, yeah, well the things i was cutting when i was young wasn't fabric or foam so no it didn't start there because that time i wasn't creating anything when i was cutting when i was young it was more of a destructive force but now it it has turned table entirely so the cutting went from flesh and skin to fabric and foam and sometimes weird material like a plastic bottle or you won't imagine i have made costumes out of curtains i feel natural in it so i like it and sometimes when i feel annoyed i'm like screw this i'm going to look pretty i'll go to the bathroom put some makeup on and wig i love my wigs i i particularly i'm not a big fan of my own hair so i'll just tie it up put on my wig and the moment i put the wig on i just feel a little more like ta da in comic conventions when i go people especially men they think like okay fine we are cosplaying so they can treat us whatever they whatever the way they want i don't want to be treated like a freak i want to be treated as an artist if i go out wearing wigs wearing costumes i should be just a regular person in japan people are so mindful like if you're in cosplay get have a picture It's okay please don't they, they feel like I'm going to hit them and that's not the case the quality will improve when only the people who appreciate and understand the culture they are coming that so I have seen improvement earlier I've seen I've seen guys get molested at comic con and that's sad <laughs> but that's equality right feminism <laughs>
There are other cosplayers across the country as well. Not all are doing it full time, but definitely putting in effort, sometimes months of effort, into a costume. It does have a regular space in India now as well, with regular gaming and comic convention events where these people can take part. Social platforms to put up their work also play a big role. And no, it doesn't have a limited time span. As Akansha told me, she's seen cosplayers well into their later years coming out and getting into character. Yes, it does let you be the self you can't in a conflicted society.